In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add automated tests to Hatchway's assessment. So let's go ahead and edit this backend assessment. Each of our assessments have starting code bases that candidates use to work off of. To add automation, you need to make three edits to your starting code base. The first is add test files that you want to run when a candidate submits. So in this case, we have some pie tests that we want to run when a candidate submits this backend Flask API. The second step is to add what is called a Hatchways gitignore file. This contains all the files that you want hidden from the candidate when they start the assessment. So in this case, you would want to hide your test cases so a candidate won't be able to see what you're trying to test. The last step is to add a GitHub Actions workflow file that runs those test cases so that these get triggered once a candidate submits so you don't have to run any test cases or press any buttons to run their tests. So if I go into an example of a pull request of a submission, 